Libra, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly singles love message. I'm so sorry, I'm so tardy. Please forgive me. And without further ado, let's get to your love energy. For those of you who are searching for love the month of January, angels and guides, positive energy for beautiful, beautiful Libra. Angels and guides, positive energy. What's the energy? The love energy. These We want these up, right? The love energy for Libra. Angels, what is going up, right, up, right, up, right. Okay, now let's go ahead and add hmm, a bit of, yes, 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 angels and guides, a bit of thank you, thank you, thank you. And I feel like let's, let's keep shuffling for lovely Libra. Just one more, angels, just one, just, just one more. Thank you. All right, now, they, that's, that's, that doesn't even go there. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and add a bit of, yes, one from my mama's deck. Angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libra. Yes, yes, and yes. I feel like I did miss that. There we go. There we go. That goes there. Now, let's go ahead and add yeah, the dragon's deck. Let's go ahead and add the dragon's deck for beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for beautiful, handsome, yes, Librans. All right. Yes, 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 yes. One more from the dragon's deck. Angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy. One more, one more. High vibrations. Thank you for lovely, lovely, lovely. Libra. We're going to top it off. You're like, Dora, don't you dare put another card down. I'm almost done, Libra. I promise. I'm almost done with your love, with your love. All right. Now, positive energy. Let's get right into it. So the major theme when it comes to your love, yin and yang, there is someone around you that gets you, that totally, totally gets you. And they have a lot of love too. But with the seven of spades, you're not so sure about this love. You're going to want to take it slow if you want to start something because you kind of know that this love is something really, really, something you're not used to. Let's put it that way. It's definitely something not, I'm not, it's not the norm. Let's just say that. All right. Now, when we look at the recent past, we have the distorted feminine energy, not to say that's female, but just apply it to your life as it fits. So distorted female, five of cups with the ace of hearts, the support card and the two of hearts. So in the recent past, I feel like with the distorted feminine energy, there was something in love that really did not fulfill your needs. It felt like you were a bit upset and sad over something that, so, you know, it really didn't have much security to begin with. Really, it, it didn't, but you wanted it anyway. And I feel like you kind of kept with that support. You kind of stayed there in that bond, even though it wasn't fulfilling you emotionally. It wasn't fulfilling you because maybe they weren't everything that you wanted them to be, okay? We're just going to leave it like that. Now, in the middle of the month, we have luminosity when it comes to love, the world card, the nine of spades, the grace card, and the jack of spades. So in the middle of the month, you are really focusing on love. You want, yes, you want everything in love. But I feel like you're going to, whatever is around you that feels like feels like it's everything you ever wanted. I feel like you're letting it go with grace and you're trying to, with the Jack of Spades, you're trying to do things differently, even though this is what you want, even though this is what you desire and it feels like everything you've ever wanted. You're letting it go. You're going within. I see you doing some spiritual work. Now, when we look at the end of the month, you have worthiness, the eight of spades, the three of cups reversed, rewards, and the five of diamonds. So by the end of the month, I see you doing a lot of self-work, a lot of self-care. There is power in that. When it comes to the three of cups, you're not ready to get out there and the end of the month and have fun. No, 
The rewards come from your changes in your values. Now, when we look at your bonus, you have sexual freedom, page of swords reversed, the hermit card reversed, with the ten of hearts, the fun card, and the ace of diamonds. So with the sexual freedom, and the, I feel like there is a sense of, what's that word? Um, celibacy i feel like there's a bit of celibacy because with this page of of swords i feel like there's energy around you that you know probably isn't necessarily telling you well maybe they're just not telling you what you want to hear the hermit card you've done a lot of soul searching so you kind of know what love should feel like i feel like for right now you just want to have fun and worry about new beginnings later yeah so you're taking things slowly this month. There is love around you, but I even see you like you're working on yourself this month when it comes to love. Even if there's new love, old love, it doesn't matter. It just feels like you got to go within and you got to work on you first because if you're good, everything around you is good. You attract like let's say you you're you're doing some spiritual work right and you you work it through you decide what your self-worth is what you need what you want well guess what that's what you're going to attract now if you don't do the self-work and you just take whatever is being offered then that's what you're going to get so the self-work this month is very important so have fun just have fun, okay? So, I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.